Hi, fundraising family. Hello, fundraising family. I'm Christy. I'm Eric. And I'm the Grinch. <laughs> and that's the Grinch. And we are here today to give you 12 holiday tips to maximize your shoe dry fundraiser. Maximize that fundraiser. Starting now. Starting now. We know this is the season of giving, but sometimes it can be difficult to work in a shoe dry fundraiser during all of your holiday parties. So we put together a list and we're going to start with the easiest thing. And we even checked the list twice. So, <laughs> you know. Tip number one, shoes. <laughs> no. I mean, basically this is super easy. Instead of asking for gifts or donations or any of that, you ask your family, friends, and fundraising partners for shoes for Christmas. And the shoes will help go towards your shoe dry fundraiser. Number two. two, offer free gift wrapping in exchange for shoes from your friends, family, and community. You can even set up a station at one of your holiday parties. Tip number three, creative holiday photos. These are actually pretty easy. Make sure you feature your shoes. Make sure you feature bags of shoes. Make sure you feature bags of shoes under the tree. Put your shoes on your head. Stand upside down. Do something that involves shoes or in the giving of shoes to others or the donations of shoes towards your charity. Or you could have someone dress up like Santa with a bag of shoes on their, on their back. Number four, create fun GIFs and or videos. Or GIFs. It's GIF. It's GIFs, we looked it up. Because it GIF. stands for graphic it's, interface. It's, we're gonna say GIFs. Graphic, GIF. I'm pretty sure the guy said it's GIFs. No, I looked it up. Okay. A linguist said GIF. Remember we had this conversation It's the before. holiday season of Last giving. Last year it's a gift. Be thankful. It's a gift with gifts. <laughs> gift gifts to other gifters. Can we, <laughs> can we give them the tip now? Start at the beginning. Four, take photos, videos, or GIFs of people unwrapping their shoes. Shoe GIFs. Shoe GIFs. GIFs. <laughs> Tip number five, keep consistent with your bag count, your shoe count, so people know how far along you are in your goal towards collecting shoes. And it also gives them the idea of how much they need to give you in order to make you reach your goal. Another great option is to check into locations where you're accepting shoes. So if you're accepting shoes in your school or at a local office or business, check in at those locations so people know where they can come by to drop off shoes this holiday season. That was tip number six. Okay. Number seven is a shoe gift exchange. Everybody's familiar with Secret Santa or Secret Other. Anyways, basically a shoe exchange is the same as doing a secret gift exchange or Secret Santa or any of that stuff, except it's with shoes. So gift exchange shoes or shoe gift exchange. Follow the bouncing ball. Eight. Eight. For this tip, it's all about holiday parties. We all know there's a lot going on from Thanksgiving to Christmas to New Year's. So utilize these parties as an opportunity to collect shoes. Be ready with bags and rubber bands and announce to people that are attending the parties to bring you shoes there so you can help collect more. Number nine, host a holiday packing party. This one, you pack stuff during the holidays. <laughs> This one's actually really easy. To be serious about it, what you do is you're packing your bags of shoes. Make sure the shoes are rubber banded or tied together in pairs, because that's how people wear shoes. Make sure you put them in the bags at pairs of 25 each, and make sure the bags are sealed properly, and then put them in your dry storage area. Have a party, make it a good time. Get some pizza, get some soda, get some music, get some movies, and have yourselves a merry little holiday. Number 10, this one is one of my favorites. Give shoes for cookies. Oh, no. cookies. Give cookies for shoes. Co That's what I meant. Give, 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 give cookies for shoes. I'll take my shoe off right now if you got cookies. <laughs> so if you're baking this holiday season or if you're a baker, exchange cookies for shoes. So let your supporters know if they bring you a bag of shoes that you'll bake them a pan of cookies. Or two pans. You could be called two pan Sam. Don't stretch yourself short though. Okay. Tip number 11. 10 plus 1. That's, that's, that's how you do 11. Or you could do 6 plus 5. Anyways, tip number 11 is take pictures of your bags of shoes with bows on them. Put them under the tree. Put them under the menorah. Put them under the snow. Put them under your awning. Put them under the horseshoe on your door. Whatever. Take pictures of bags of shoes with bows and make sure you post them all over social media. That will encourage people to donate shoes to you because it looks like a lot of fun. It's true. Number 12. For our final holiday tip, number 12, we are going to tell you that one of the best ways to get pictures of shoes is to create a Christmas shoe tree and or place shoes under the tree so that way your friends and family know what to give you this holiday season. 
It's true. And also make sure you tag us in any of the pictures you take throughout the entire holiday season. Make sure you're tagging not only us, but anybody who donates shoes to you and make it a community effort because making sure you connect with other people will help them to connect with you later on, either in this fundraiser or fundraiser in the future. Yes, I want to see all of your creative holiday photos. Please make sure to tag us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, anywhere you can. I love those photos. And if you can make a shoe tree, like a tree out of shoes, please send us that picture because that would be amazing. And we'll use it in all of our videos. Hopefully these 12 tips helped you out and hopefully they touched you and helped you to have a happy and healthy and great fundraising season. From all of us at Funds to Orgs, we want to wish you a wonderful holiday season and we will see you in the new year. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Bye. 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 Ah! <laughs> I had to see what you're gonna do. <laughs> there you go. Is that fine? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. All right. We know this is the holiday season. No. Mostly because we're totally stressed out. <laughs> <laughs>